So you're in the market for a new pair of dress shoes. So you go to the store, you try a few pairs on, and there's a pair that you really kind of dig. It feels okay. The leather is definitely a bit stiff. And if they had a pair of leather soles, for 10 seconds, you are an eight-year-old boy sliding along and testing the slideability of those soles. Well, the shoes look amazing, and you think to yourself, man, after I break these bad boys in, they're gonna be just as comfortable as they are good looking. What the? Huh? If your shoes need to be broken in to be comfortable, you shouldn't buy them. There is a very common misconception that dress shoes need to be broken in in order for them to be comfortable and wearable. But that is absolutely a style myth. It's not the case. And so today, I thought I'd go over a few tips and tricks in order to make sure that the shoes that you buy are comfortable right out of the gate. The first tip I would give you when trying on a new pair of shoes, regardless of its dress shoes, sneakers, is to find the tile area in the store and walk on that. Most all shoe stores have carpet. Well, this carpet gives the false illusion of comfort. You go over to the hardest surface you can find, test them out there, that's going to give you a more realistic idea of the comfort of those shoes. Make sure that you're wearing the type of socks that you'll be wearing with those shoes that you're purchasing. So if they're dress shoes and you normally wear dress socks, make sure that you bring a pair of dress socks into the store. Too many times I work with men and they start reasoning with their feet. They're like, well, these will be comfortable if I just put thinner socks on or if I wore, listen, the deal is if you've got to wear hiking socks in order for your shoes to be comfortable, they're not the shoes for you. Are the shoes too tight? Now, it's true that leather will stretch. Soft leather will stretch faster and a little bit more than the harder leather, but the fact is, if they're too tight on your pinky toe when you're trying them on, don't buy the shoes because that toe box is definitely too narrow for you. Move on. Is the heel slipping? Is there unneeded play or wiggle room in that heel when you walk? You got to pay attention. A lot of times people put a shoe on, they walk, and they're like, yeah, it feels pretty good. I go down, I grab their heel, I say lift up, and their heel comes flying out of the shoe. Your heel needs to fit just as well as the rest of the shoe. Is there sufficient cushion or arch support in that shoe? Do you wear orthotics or inserts like me? I wear old sneaker inserts in my shoes, and so I bring a pair with me when I go and try them on. That way I know that there's enough room still for my foot and the insert. Does that pair of shoes that you're looking at have any type of metal buckle or detail? If so, what you need to do is take that shoe and your hand and tap it. Listen. Do you hear anything? Any clanging? Well, on cheap shoes, you're going to hear it. And if you wear them, every step you take, you're going to sound like a cowboy that's wearing spurs. It's not a good idea. Quality shoes, there will be no sound. Your shoes should be comfortable right out of the gate. You should be able to put them on and go to the office. Now, will they get increasingly comfortable as you wear them? Yes, because shoes do break in, but you shouldn't need band-aids or moleskin in order for them to be comfortable. I feel confident, gentlemen, that the Pythagorean theorem of shoes needing to be broken in in order for them to be comfortable has officially been debunked.